Hey guys, welcome to TCR, Sid here. Thanks for clicking on the video. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Today, we're gonna make sure that they don't escape. So as you can see behind me, I've got my chicken coop. Now this is where all my poultry girls and a few guys hang out at night and during the day and their nesting boxes, the whole nine yards, you know, a chicken coop. So the issue is that there's a few holes in it right now because, well, a couple things. Uh, we've had some weather over the last couple months. We haven't had to do any, you know, just regular maintenance on it that needed to be done. So before we moved the goats over uh, and got the lambs, now the lambs are much more chill out here, but the goats were like wanting to go in the chicken coop and walking up the ramp and they got kind of rambunctious with some of the wiring over here. Now this wiring was made to keep small critters out and chickens in, not goats out. It wasn't really standing up to them. As a result, we've got some holes in here. They push through the door. We've got to get this all fixed up so that these guys can be locked up and Frankie doesn't have any issues. Now, I've been trying to kind of fix it as I go with a, a staple gun essentially and a, a few nails here and there to kind of limp it along. But it's kind of been one of those things that's on my list to kind of shore it up. And since Frankie's gonna to have to take over duties for a few days, I am going to have to make sure that the girls can stay locked up overnight so they don't bombard her in the morning at feeding time. So I have enlisted the help of Michael Crouch to help me get this squared away so none of the poultry can get out when they're not supposed to. And when they go to bed, they will stay in bed. What's wrong with this door? It's fine. I don't know what you're talking about. It's perfect. Not so much, bud. Okay, yeah, this door's jacked. So, looks like what I'm gonna need right now is probably an 11 year old assistant. I'm guessing Frankie. Hello. I think I need a staple gun. Okay. Here, you can pass it right through here. I put a door here for passing tools. Oh, oh. perfect. That's convenient. How convenient. <laughs> Bird's like, what are you doing? I thought you wanted me in there. Okay, there's plenty of other doors. Right? There's holes everywhere. Find your own way, yeah. dinosaur. That wasn't so bad. <laughs> All right, well, we got a big hole right here. I probably need to come up with a more permanent solution. Yes. I've been asking for that for a while, huh? What's the problem? They can't get out right there. That's a big hole right there, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're going to be like, who shut the door? They are, too, because they love going in and out all their little holes now. Well, if the goats hadn't made these holes, no, some of these were here before the goats, by the way. I've been fixing them and stuff as we go along, but goats definitely, what Neil in particular, made it worse. Yeah, this is a bad one. This is a problem. This is a problem, but there's a piece of wood right here. That's what I did before is I, I attached that to the board and then I had attached the board to that, but then the goats pushed it out again. Well, we don't have goats to worry about now. Hand me that saw, Frankie, please. It's a little bit too long. I don't have that problem very often. Let me see my drill and a couple of screws, Frankie Chow. Thank you, you. Look at it. Got any screws? Yeah. That's about $7,000 worth of lumber. More screws. Don't you think? What? It's about $7,000 worth of lumber right there. 7,000? Yeah. What are you even talking about? You know the price of lumber right now is crazy. Oh. It's like it was a joke, but whatever. It's probably good. Probably good. 
Yeah, now we're talking. Break on through to the other side. Break on through to the other side. Hey, let me see that drill. <laughs> you taking the ramp off? Yeah. Why? It's in the way. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's no bueno. It's an epic fail. <laughs> the back together. <laughs> it's alive. There's crack in your face where the talking words come out. Okay then. Just spit all over me. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, that's good. You think that'll hold them? Yeah, that'll keep the birds in. That wasn't spit. Did you check that other side? That was mucus. Ew. <laughs> I don't want your mucus either. <laughs> That's because I have those like five birds that like to sleep up top. Those younger girls that are rebellious. You know how those young girls are. No, I don't. Well, you used to. <laughs> Remember when you first started dating me? And you were young? Yeah. No, it was a long time ago. I know. <laughs> but I did. I, I used to be young. I used to be one time. Okay. Frankie, go look for holes in the coop. You got to walk the perimeter. That's not a hole. Okay. Make sure nobody can get out. <laughs> About on this side. No, we're good. On, no, that's fine. <laughs> Repairing the ramp to prepare for boarding for departure. That's more better. A lot better. I wonder how it even got so bent like that. The goats going on. Oh, I didn't realize the goats went on it. Yeah, Neil used to get up on there. That's better. Yeah, it is. Because I'm a man and I have tools, the project is complete. It's a very, very shoddy job, but it'll get the job done for now until I do some serious rework. Probably gonna redo all of this chicken wire and probably do the lower section with hardware cloth and use some fender washers and screws to hold it on because these staples clearly don't work. But they're gonna work for the short term. Uh, Sid's gonna be out of town. Bless you. Sid's gonna be out of town this next weekend. Frankie's gonna have to do some of the morning feeding. And this way, at least for the next week, the birds will stay in here. Back to you, Sid. Mike saved the day. He's got it all patched up and good enough for now. So we can leave these guys locked up while I'm out of town and they are gonna be responsible for the animals while I'm gone for the next few days. So fingers crossed, everybody survives, mostly my animals. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you get the notification.